Hey YouTube, it's kind of a kind of sad day. Day, it's a kind of, it's a kind, of, it is, it is. It's kind of a sad day today. And why is that? It's because, it's because, it's because, it's because for a car owner, you are not getting rid of your car, but you are handing it over to another person, and that person is a mechanic. So I don't know how long it's going to take before I see my car again. I don't know when I'm going to see it again. So I'm thinking. It's a sad day to be a car owner, but it's also a very, very good day to be a car owner because when it's coming back, it'd be in tip top order. So it's perhaps a brand new car again. So that'd be pretty nice. And the funny thing here is that actually I got a stone hit in my paint job on the, on the hood. So just that little thought is actually pretty nice that I'm getting rid of that. I'm also getting rid of those scratches and yeah, Brian, you, you made some bad choice in that car wash. But I just wanted to tell you that I'm going to hand it over to a mechanic now. So I'm going to take a drive. You want to come along? You're more than welcome. You always know you're more than welcome in my house and in my life. So let's bring that one up. <laughs> So this is what is going to be fixed. The line right there and that thing right there and the stone. It's supposed to be over here somewhere. I couldn't find it either last time I was looking for it, but I know it's here. Anyway, let's get to it. Seriously, what's up with the light? is waking up today as cycling's new tour de France. I'm getting used to it. It's mental whenever anybody's... <laughs> Now please notice this thing here. That's the logo of my car. That's the brand of the car. It's a Renault or Renault Clio, right? And what sign do we actually have up here ahead of us? Brian is driving in a real high gear. And these guys are those that are supposed to take care of my car. That's amazing. Citroën, Citroën. Now look what's parked here. Is that a beauty? Is that a beauty? Oh, beautiful, beautiful car. I think it's funny how the weather is changing today. It's going from dark to bright and bright to dark. So it's an Opel we're going to drive. I don't know the experience of that, except for the Opel insignia from my father. Let's have a look. Okay, that didn't go too well. And right here we got the, and they say to return it full. I wouldn't say that is the full capacity of the gas. And is it a diesel or is it a, not a diesel? I don't know. It's on the roads over here. Okay, let's just have a look around here. They tell me that I need to return this clean. Okay, and somebody hasn't been cleaning this at all. And over here we've got some seats down in the pocket. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say this is a clean car, so I'm not gonna return it any different than what they have given me. It. And the gas there is not too much. So no, they're not gonna get it any different than what I just received. It. And by the way, I got it on film. <laughs> So I'm here at home, I have parked and it's fitting in my garage. That's pretty nice. There's a minor stone hit on the glass there. It says on the inside to make sure that you, whatever you are using, you should be gassing, okay? And if you are making any kind of marks on the car, you should, you should notice them for that. So they are able to take that out of whatever you owe them. And I already seen that, I'm not sure if that's a mark on that. 
right there. There we go. Now I can't see this side, but I found out that it's uh, benzene and not diesel. Probably also a very nice thing to know when you're going to gas it up. And it's also fitting very nicely in here. Last time I was in this window frame, I was here because it was a sad day, but still it was a good day because my car was going to the The repair shop. Now, it's Friday, the other one was Monday. And what am I going to do today? I'm going to get back my car, yeah! The, the repair guy, the mechanic, that's the one, the mechanic. The mechanic was calling me yesterday and asked me if I was able to get the car yesterday about four o'clock, but wasn't. So, I'm going to pick it up right now. And I got a thing, oh, oh, there we go! I got a thing out in my garage I would like to show you and it's actually a car that they have provided me with so I can get forth and back and all that so if I needed to to do something I could at least I could go do that and here we all know the, the, the trip from my house and out to the garage with all the keys and the locks and the doors and all that so let's just pass that by doing or just a uh, I, I don't know if that's possible, but that was actually quite cool. I thought about that. I drop into the bed. Wouldn't that be cool? Like, ah, that wasn't cool. Ah, oh, that wasn't cool. Ah, oh, <laughs> that hurt my back and also the neck. So that was no good at. Oh, Ryan, you fool! You're getting too old to this. Sh You're getting too old for that or for this or for something. I'm actually thinking about starting up the next generation on this vlogging YouTube thingy. We were going to the garage. Brian made a, and I broke my nail at the What the what? Ah oh, man, garage. I can't, I can't snap that thing. That, there we go. Here we go. <laughs> hey, what's up? Well, we already, we in the garage. Welcome to the garage. What I wanted to show you is this key right here. This key. What brand is that? Oval brand. It got these. Let's bring you up to the light here. It's got these. When you press that and and keep pressing it, this happens. Okay, it opens up and the window opens up as well. Isn't that awesome? I think it's pretty cool. Hoping for that to be in my car. I was hoping for that to be in the bus since it's a Mercedes Benz. Apparently, a Mercedes is not cannot afford to give that out to just a, any type of car. They're very very. It's a German. I was thinking that should be in there, but it's not mine. It's a French car. It got a lot of other things as a low budget car or something. Anyway, let me just open up so we can get some more light in here. There we go. Whoa! I'm so fascinated by this electronic smacking doorway opener. Smacking? No, not really. Because it's not slamming or smacking the door after itself. Ooh, now we got light in here, so we bring down the ISO again. Oh, Tuborg beer. Mm -hmm. Probably the best beer after skiing. Okay, so here we go. Press the button. And as soon as I release it. And that wouldn't be a good idea, Brian. <laughs> I would actually see myself have done that. Uh, bugger. Well, um. Car dealer, here we go. Yeah. Better open it up again. So we do not do that mistake. Bring me the car key. It's right here. Okay. I'd like to say before we get over there, because it's just around the corner. ISO 500. Damn, Brian. The smart thing about that, actually, when you got a window that's open during or a car in the hot summertime, standing there in the sun, and what do you do? Well, you open your window from a far distance. So before you're actually over there, it has lit out some of the heat, right? The not so smart part about that is put it in your back pocket, you take a sit, and the rain starts falling, and your button is pressing that button to open the windows. Now, that's not too, too that's not. Too that's not smart. Why do I say that? Because I actually tried it. Not with this one, but with my father's. Oops, father. I forgot to tell you. Anyway, I'm here. Over there. And you're still not able to see the sign. It's okay. Once again, have a look at how smart this actually is. Open? Yes, they are open. Close. That is pretty neat. I love that. Just love it. 
Two curves like living kitty cat. I am not like the big YouTubers or no, I'm not going to blame those. Enough. Now, I'm going to blame myself for not having enough courage to do it here in Denmark. Yet, I was shopping groceries, as you can see, and I didn't have the guts to bring my camera along because there was a lot of people in there. Not, not a lot, but there was people in there. And the line at a desk was long, and there was one at the counter, counter desk, desk counter. The place where you pay for your grocery. At that spot there was a bunch of people lining up and at the same time as I was parking my car I noticed that there was a lot of people coming in through the driveway parking the car and getting into the store and when they do that I get a little I would definitely say scared. Yeah, I get scared. And why do I get scared? Because I got nothing to be afraid of. Well, just just this recording of me returning. No? Nope. Yeah, well, just the part where I need to take my car to the mechanic to record that was quite a difficulty. It was a difficult fight for me to do that, to go into the shop. I didn't even record anybody, so there was nobody I need to say, I'm sorry, to, or something like that. But but it's still, people look weird when you come into a store with a camera. And this is just a, a car dealer with a, with a workshop in the back. And I was thinking to myself, I would like to shop and I would like to record myself shopping these groceries. But here in Denmark, you also got some rules to follow. I think there was once a Danish television broadcasting when they needed to record something in the store they needed to ask the, the, the management permission to record in there so i was expecting somebody to rise up and say something and say uh you're not allowed to do that in here but nobody did it that came as a surprise to me not like a shock but surprise it was truly a surprise to me that nobody stood up and said you're not allowed to record in here you just you, you, looking at you really weird looking in an odd kind of way so i thought to myself okay as long as nobody says anything it is really a struggle to get past that what is that a, 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 a barrier barrier yeah i suppose there's a kind of barrier you have to get across this issue with yourself thinking of how is other people reacting to that you're walking around with a camera like like that some of my friends when we were out seeing a, a movie in, an iMac down in Aarhus. One of my friends told me, you look kind of creepy when you're walking around with a pocket or a point and shoot camera because that nobody knows what you're doing. Seems like you're kind of spying on people. You are checking out what's on the meat market or something. You are making weird recording or something like that. But when you got a camera of my size here and with a microphone on top, it is definitely different because the microphone gives away straight away that you are recording sound. 
around. The camera, it's size itself. It's not just something you put in your pocket when somebody spots you. Oh, I didn't do that. No, it wasn't me. He ran that away. Nope, it's not like that. <laughs> and then you already spotted. And you haven't even assembled the camera yet. So that I wanted to point out for you is just, it's a weird thing and it's very, you have to get a good pass. Everybody says that. With time, it gets easier. Everybody says that as well. Now saying it is one thing. Doing it is a different thing. And it's not easy. That's it. Basically, that's the one I wanted to tell you. I really wanted to make this shopping recording thing. A camera holder mounted on my basket. So it will be there. So if somebody come and ask me, are you recording something in here in the store? No, I'm recording whatever I put into the basket. And that's basically it. That would just be me going in through the door, putting that thing onto the basket and then walk around in with some things and then taking it all out, showing the disc. And that's just bringing my groceries into the car. That's what I wanted to show you. I'm not, I'm not past that hurdle yet. So I'm still, well, I'm still working on it. At least I got into the car dealer with, uh, with and without, with the camera on, rolling. So I think that was thumbs up for me. Well done, Jeff Brian. You did a great job. Okay. So it was me just chit chatting away about absolutely nothing once again. Yeah, yeah, this is Brian. Checking in, checking out. See you, take care, cheers, bye bye, adios amigos, and where is my capsule? Ooh. That's a snap. Those mechanic up in here, damn, they are really long people. Really. Really? Whoa! Ah, oh, man! To just, to, you know, you know when everything just goes wrong. I'm not where the big YouTubers are yet. Why do you kick into the? Why do you kick into the screen, Brian? Why do you kick? No, it's actually look. Why do you look? Why do you look into the screen? I don't know. Snap. There was actually a lot of people driving, driving up and into the store. Or showing the bar, uh, showing, showing the, 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 the cal 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 escalator, calculator, the, the, the tape. Nope.